Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. And this is the problem. Find the maximum number of elements in the subset. This I think was the harder problem than the problem number three. I don't know if you feel the same. Just comment down below. Problem number three of the weekly contest 382. Now the problem simply says that we are given an array of positive integers called as nums. Okay. We have nums as an array and you need to select a subset of nums which satisfy the following condition. We have to select the subset. So subset means okay any element in any order. Great. The subset should follow the pattern of x, x raised to power 2, x raised to power 4, x raised to power up till keep on increasing the powers multiple of 2 and then keep on decreasing the powers back. Which means I have 2, 4, 16, 4, 2. Powers increased in a multiple of 2 and then decreased back. And the same way you see 3, 9, 3. 3 which is 3 to power 1, 3 to power 2 and then 3 to power 1 back. So it is an increasing power. Powers are increasing a multiple of 2 and then it is decreasing also. And thus you have to figure or give me the maximum number of elements in the subset that satisfy this condition that the subset should be of this following order x x square x to the power 4 so on so on so on up to x x to the power k and then again decrease up till back to a number x so so for sure you can just take a look at these examples so you can see i have one like i can take a start from 2 2 4 and 2 2 4 and 2 coming back so i can have a length of 3 which is the maximum length I could have. Here you will see that there is no one I could have. So maximum length is one, which is just one number itself. Okay, great. Um, so one obvious thing which comes to my mind is let's take a bigger example and let's try to build this pattern itself. So because you will see the constraints. I have a very high constraints. So I have to figure out a pattern that uh, I can I, or I should be because I can't go and say okay, the first number is this. So I'll try for this first number and I'll try for all the possibilities. Then I'll go to on to next number. Then I'll try again for all the possibilities. Then I say all the possibilities. I mean, trying this as a number X and then trying to build this pattern out if it's, if it's possible or not. So I can't do like this. It will be of N square. So better approach is that okay, you take any number blindly. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take a number blindly as 4. Now I'll consider this number 4 as x. So if firstly, 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 to consider this number 4 as x and keep on increasing, keep on increasing. If, if its count is 1, which, which means 4 is just once. So there's no point of even increasing or finding a next number, which is 16. Because you saw now, after 4, I should bring a 16. But Aryan, where, where, where was the 2? No worries. I am just trying to build a pattern from 4. 4 and then 16. And then again increase. If not, then again decrease back. Now I am saying, okay, I am standing at 4. I will try to increase or make the pattern. But I also know one thing in my mind that, okay, 4 if, it inke 4, if I keep on increasing him, then he has to also come down. So frequency of 4 should be at least 2. It should be at least 2. Now, oh. That's great. So one thing I have known, I've got to know so far is that frequency, if I am about to increase something, if I'm about to say, okay, let's, let's increase our subset size as I could find a 16. So I can only go and try for the next number, which is 16. Again, how to know for the next number 16? Again, X into X is the next number. If the current number is X, as you saw, if the current number is X, next is X square. Current number is x square, next number is x square whole square, which is x, x to the power 4. If this number is x to the power 4, next number is x square, like x to the power 4 whole square, which is x to the power 8. So this is how it will keep on going. Square of the previous number. So I know I can go on to my next number, so I will also have to come back. So I need to have a 4. So for sure, if I am trying to go to the x square, so I should be make sure, I should first make sure my count should be at least two. If it is not, then I'll just say, okay, bro, answer is one. Please go ahead, try something else. But I can see frequency, which means, okay, are in one thing for sure, then you have to maintain the frequency also. So I will maintain the frequency of all the elements in a map. I'll say, okay, four frequencies, one, two, and two. Okay, four frequencies, two. Again, this is the key, which is the element, and this is a frequency. Right. Next number 16. 16 frequencies again a 2. 16 frequencies again a 2. Okay. 4 frequency. Okay. That is done. 3 frequencies. 3 frequencies. 1, 2. Okay. 2. Uh, 9 frequencies. Okay. 9 frequencies. 1. 2 frequencies. Again, it's a 2. So I have maintained the frequency. I have gone on to all the elements. I have maintained the frequency. Now I am at the first element. I'll consider this element as an X. Okay. Try on for 
okay you know that you have to try for x square so okay one thing is for sure okay frequency of x is 2 so one thing is for sure in my subset i have got a 4 twice so i can increase the size of my subset in initially my size of the subset size was a 0 now i know okay 4 4 can come starting in the end and thus i'll just increase my size by 2 okay great go ahead try for x square now in this map again 4 has been exhausted now this map i will try for x square okay i'll try for 16 yes 16 is there okay so rn again will you do that 16 16 yeah 16 and 16 now try for 16 square okay 16 square i'll try for i could not find 16 square so bro break out okay i'll simply break out but then but then you will see that currently you have found this as the subset is this the is this the answer firstly this is not even a correct subset because if you remember the maximum element should only occur once oh so which means that i will always in my set i will always have uh, my last element because if you remember if the four count would have been one so i would have already broken out so in this specific subset and again if let's say my count of 16 would have been one so still i would have placed 116 and that and at that point itself i would have never even tried for 16 square i would have broken out at that point by simply increasing my count so one thing is for sure that i have my subset and it can have an even size also because maybe i was about to try for the next element but i could not find that next element so if my count is even at any point of time i'll just decrease the count by one which means i will be removing the maximum element whose frequency has been to i'll remove his frequency by one so this is i could perform an operation which if i know that i have increased my subset count and that count is even because i know for sure the subset count should always be odd now uh, but again aryan you are back to square one because if you tried for four next time you will try for 16 next time you will try for four again now nah, that is a that's a change i'll do if i'm trying for four i will just say okay i have used four i have tried for all the possibilities of four just remove it which means 4 is gone 16 was here it is also gone 4 is gone 4 is gone 16 is gone that's the reason i am just whatsoever i am taking i am utilizing those and i am never using back and i'm, I'm never using them back again now you are at 3 okay 3 you will see uh 3's frequency is 2 yeah okay so i can actually try for 3 square yeah so 3 is gone 3 is gone again 3 all 3 are gone because again any element let's say if three would have been three 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 no matter what i can have only two threes that's it that's it in a subset i can only have two threes so remove all the threes even if even if you have more threes remove them that's no matter useful okay remove them now i will try for three square which is nine nine's frequency is just one which means i can never try for nine square i cannot even think of trying nine square so i will just place one nine and i will break out I can never try anything after the after this nine because nine here I could have tried for sixteen square because I have two sixteen I could have tried I, although I could not find that's okay but even if let's say even if nine square would have been there and let's say sixteen square would have been there so sixteen square you would have tried okay so sixteen square is there you would have put sixteen square that's completely okay but in this case even if nine square being in the entire array you still cannot try nine square because you could not find a nine two times you could only find one time okay that's great so as soon as my any count becomes one i will say okay my subset size or the count of this uh whole size it i'll increase and thus it it, it will become three and then if i've in encountered just one element with a frequency of one simply increase the count okay earlier the count was two increase the count it became three but then break out because you cannot you cannot increase its size because you cannot add nine square or anything like that that's the max you could do and you have simply topped it now um when this thing is done you feel like okay okay Aryan, nine is also deleted now you have a two ha ah, so you have a two then you will try for a two uh you will try for a two okay two i have i got two frequencies two yeah two i have then i can i'll try for two square which is four but four i don't have because yeah a four i don't have two frequencies gone four i don't have so they could not i could not make a four that's a mistake which you did right what that you tried for a higher element first that's the mistake which is okay you tried for a four first because of which you used four you tried 16 and then you just removed four and 16 thus when your smaller element which could actually increase your size would have come in you never allowed him because for him he could never find a four because four is already deleted 
code is already gone because you actually tried to make this so what we will do is we will keep the frequency so for that we can use an unordered map that is true but then we also have to sort it down so whenever sorting comes in and the frequency comes in so we can for sure use an a map map will all like map will make sure my frequencies are in the sorted order so i will make sure that firstly i should try for the smallest possible keys smallest possible elements which means my four this entire thing will never be done first my first thing will be done for the smallest possible element then i will have to now you will say you will have to again frequency of two is twice so you can try for a four yeah four also frequency is twice which means okay you will just increase the count again increase the count by two because you have got two more fours now you will try for 16 which is four square yeah i have 16 okay increase the count by two okay place 16 then try for 16 square oh i could not find 16 square okay no worries break out again if the count is one or if you cannot find an element then simply break out now you your count here was a six but you know that it is actually counting whenever your count is even which means you have counted the maximum element twice so please remove the count so whenever your count is even simply reduce the count by one whenever it is odd that's great and then you have you you will get all the possible counts and simply maximize the count with this fact you will be using an un you will be using a firstly you were planning to use an unordered map for the frequency but then you realize that you have to actually go into the sorted order of the elements so you thought of let's use a map instead so you will actually be using a map now and also you will go into all the elements once because as soon as you go into an element you will delete its all the occurrences and you and you will just use its frequency and again you will go on to all the elements just once so your complexity will be o of n log n because you're going on to all the elements just once and you're using a map let's see the code it's pretty simple that firstly we take this frequency map which will store the frequency of all the elements because you remember i want the frequency and i use a map because i wanted the elements in the sorted order so that i can enter on the map itself rather you, you, rather one option is you can simply sort the nums itself and then iterate on nums although i know that okay i can use uh, i can use one arrow for two um what to say that thing i can use so that's the reason i can actually use my frequency map as a map not an unordered map okay cool then i go on to all the elements and get their frequencies now i will go on to my frequency map this is my element this is and this is the corresponding frequency of that frequency frequency again element is useful because i know element is the x i want to find x square then f x square x to the power 4 then x to the power 8 like this i have to keep on finding so that will that in that case my element will be useful and my frequency is useful because i know if the frequency of the current element is 1 i have to break out because i cannot try for x square even if my frequency is 2 or more then take 2 and then try for x square so i'll just assign my element with the x and then this is my subset size or count then i'll check firstly that if even if my x is there in my map now are you for sure you have taken your x from the frequency map itself so for sure your x will be in the map hold on hold on i'll have a quick check if my x is there in my frequency map or not and also its count should be more than zero more than zero now why i did that i'll tell you this fact of c plus plus it's an issue with c plus plus that you cannot dynamically remove an element by iterating the uh data structure itself i'll tell you what i mean by that is but yeah uh, let's keep on going so firstly as i showed you if i have a one if i have a one as the element so you saw one raised to the power one square one raised to the power three anything whatsoever for one it will just keep on increasing one so for one any power is actually one itself right so if you have a one that's a special element that's a special edge case for you that if it's a one just to simply count add and add the frequency of one what's so if i have one five times just get all these ones because i can always represent my one as one one dish one dish per two one dish per four one dish per eight and so on and so forth i can always try because i for sure know right it's one will like one will remain one so it's a special edge case for you now so I'll simply count, which means my size, my subset size will just be entire frequencies. But what if the element is not one element is two or something else? Then if the element is something else, then you are, you would like to get its frequency. So if the element is something else, get its frequency. Now, if you remember, you have two kinds of variations, as you saw that if I have four, four, eight, uh, four, 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 sorry, four, 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 eight, and uh, sorry, four, 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 uh, 16 and nine, and uh, let's say three. So let's say right now I am at four again, although you will go on the, uh, go on with the 
increasing order of the values but let's say you are at four right here so you just want two fours one four and one four remaining fours are just absurd values for you because for sure they will never contribute ever in your answer you just want two values which are same so if my frequency is more than or equal to two then i will just be needing two values out of it so simply in my subset size get this get that count of two now when this is done i will check okay are in what about if i had just one frequency which means if the four would have been just once if the four is just once occurring once okay then then simply you can increase the count which means okay if i had two again right two to two, two so my count would have been two but then four came so increase the count okay the, the count will become three but then you can never try for x square later on so please whenever you have got the frequency as one simply increase the count by one and break out from that loop because you can never try for any x square because what i mean by loop is this specific loop which is trying for x because here you tried for x but next time you will see you are trying for x square then you will again get this x square as an x and then again you will try for x square so you are just trying x square x square x square x square assigned back to x then it, it, it will be x square is for whole square then x is for whole square that is how you can you will keep on trying but i didn't keep on trying until when because you saw that uh, okay erase it okay it's not being erased no worries so you saw that your constraints are that your nums of i is 1e9 so 1e5 into 1e5 if your x is 1e5 right if your x is 1e5 then 1 5 to 1 5 x square will actually become 1 e 10 which will be more than your nums of i itself so you can just make sure have a condition that if your x becomes more than 1 e 5 okay again more than 1 e 5 will still work but i've written 1 e 6 but yeah 1 e 5 will also work if your x becomes more than 1 e 5 then simply break out now this is one thing uh other thing is that uh have you remembered that if you had got a 4 4 4 then you know one thing that okay 4 will never be useful for you so please remove all the frequencies of 4 so you just saw that i just made all the frequencies of my x element as a zero so by using just these three conditions again the edge case is primarily important that if your x is one then simply get the count else if the frequency is more than two then get a plus two if the frequency is one then get a plus one and when you, whenever you have a frequency of one which means you can never move forward and never try x square so please break out from here itself you can never try anything else when this is done you will have a count which is the specific count now this count can be even or odd as i showed you in the beginning also if it is odd okay that's great simply add it but if it is even then please make sure that you have counted your maximum element twice you can only count once so if it is even please do a minus one so i did the same thing if my count if my count is even then i will do a minus one from the count itself else i'll simply do a count and i'll try to maximize my count which is a subset size and ultimately i'll return my subset size and with this i can solve it in o of n log n time i hope that you have got complete intuition cool so much bye bye take care